Hi, and welcome to our tutorial today. Uh, what we're going to be showing you is how to download ebooks from our library's website onto your Nook. Um, before we get into this at all, I should mention that you should watch our previous tutorial on downloading Adobe Digital Editions. It's a program you're going to need um, to use as a medium for transferring your books from the computer to the Nook. The way it works with the Nook is that you have to actually download the books to your computer first, and then you plug your Nook into the computer, and then transfer it that way. Uh, unfortunately, there's no way to do it wirelessly yet, um, but that's one of the things they're kind of working on. So for now, we'll show you how to do it this way. Um, we'll get into a little bit more about Adobe Digital Editions later on. But first, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll start with going to the library's website where you can go ahead and get the books. So what we'll do is open up an internet page. Uh, you can do Firefox, Explorer, doesn't matter. So we'll double click to go to it. And our library's website is lockportlibrary.org. So we'll type it in here and hit enter. And we have our library's website. One of the first things you'll notice sticking out at us is our link here to download audiobooks and ebooks. And we want to click right on this box, and that'll take us to the site where we can actually go ahead and get them. So I'm going to click here. And we'll give it a minute to load. All right, what you may find is on the screen, you'll find a little box that prompts you to put in your library card number. All you have to do is type it in and just hit OK or Submit, and you'll be brought to the screen that we have here. Um, the way it works to look for books, there's a couple different ways. First is using the search bar over here. You can search by either title or author, and you just type in either the title or author and hit go, and it would search specifically for it. If you click this only available copies box, it'll only show you what we have available. The way the, the Nook books work is that it's similar to our actual library, where only one person can take out a book at a time. Um, if someone already has it out, you can go and put a hold on it, and we'll show you how to do that a little bit later as well. The other way to look for books is to click on this digital home tab. So we'll click on it, and you'll see some of our new books here. Um, you'll see some of the most popular ones that we've got, um, and new releases, that kind of thing. If I scroll down along the left hand side here, I can also browse by genre. So for example, if I wanted, you know, historical fiction, I could click on that. And it's going to show me a whole list of historical fiction books. Right now, it's sorting it as the newest ones we've added to the site are coming up first. If I click where it says title, it'll put it alphabetically by title. If I click on author, it'll do it alphabetically by author. And that's a few different ways you can kind of see what books we have. Um, if you scroll down, you'll notice we have a big list. But for an example, we'll just take out one of the first ones here. So, we'll just do this first book, and the book format that we want for Nook, um, you have to be careful to pay attention for it, is this Adobe EPUB eBook. Um, that's the kind of format that your Nook can read. Um, Kindle users would use the Kindle book. Um, we have a separate tutorial for Kindle users, um, so you might want to check that one out if you have a Kindle. But for our Nook here, um, across from the Adobe EPUB eBook, we see this Add to Selections. When we see Add to Selections, that means the book is available for us to check out. If the book was not available, meaning someone else already has it out, it would say Place a Hold here. So if we wanted to put a hold, we would just click where it said that, and it would put us on a waiting list. Um, after whoever has it out returns it, you would be sent an email, and you would have three days to claim it from that point. But since this one's available, we'll just click this Add to Selections, and we can start taking it out. What we'll then do is click Proceed to Checkout. And then up here, we can choose whether or not we want it 17, 7 days or 14 days. Um, it'll go back automatically after that period, so you don't have to worry about late fees or anything like that. And if you do read kind of quick, we can show you how to return books early as well. Oh, sorry about that. So what we'll do is just click the 7 day checkout and hit confirm checkout here. Alright, so where it says download here, that means it's on our account 
but we haven't put it on our computer yet. So what we want to do is click this button that says download. And you'll have an option. You can either open with this Adobe Digital Editions or you can save the file. Um, what you can do is just save it to your desktop um, and double click on it and it would open with Adobe Digital Editions. But if you have this option, it's just better to open with and we'll hit OK and it does everything automatically for us. So we'll hit OK here. All right, so it's telling us it's going to actually download it from our website. So we'll give it that a minute to go through. And it just takes a second here. Great. So now that it's done, we can see our cover here. Uh, the nice thing about Adobe Digital Editions is you can actually read the books right in here. So if I click on the title, sometimes it opens up this way automatically. Um, you have your table of contents, you have your chapters over on the left hand side here. And if your Nook is charging or you're loaning it to a friend, you can scroll up and down using these arrows and you can actually read the book right on your computer. Um, to get out of this um, whole view here, you would just click on the icon that looks like the stack of books and that's going to show everything you've got in your library here. So if you take out more than one book at a time, you would have more than one cover you know, along the box here. Since we just have the one, uh, we just have our one cover. You'll notice it says seven days. Um, as the days go on, you'll see it go down six, five, four, etc., telling you how many more days you have left. So what we want to do is actually transfer it to our Nook now. And if you've plugged in your Nook earlier, you'll see that you have a little icon here that says Nook, or if you've named yours, it might say, you know, Tom's Nook or Mary's Nook, etc., whatever you've called it. Um, if you don't see this already, go ahead and plug in your Nook now, and it'll take a minute for that to pop up. Um, but once you see it, you can transfer the books over. So since we have it, the way to transfer on is actually pretty simple. We just click on the book itself, and I hold down the mouse, and I click and drag. And when I pull it over the Nook here, I'll see a little green plus, and I can let go. And it says it's copying. And that's how I know it's on the Nook. If I want to check that it's actually on there, I can click where it says Nook here. And it's going to show a list of all the books I've taken out or I've got currently on there. Um, these ones that are just gray, that means I've taken them out earlier and they're just blank screens. But I can see that I have this one here that I've taken out and it is actually on my Nook. If I want to go back, I can just click on this All Items. And then I can go ahead and just see it as it is. At this point, you're all set. If you wanted to go ahead and start reading, you can eject your Nook. Um, you would just click on this little icon here to safely remove. And then you would say to eject your Nook. Say you are done with your book early and you actually want to return it early. Or you know it's not the book you wanted and you just want to send it back. Um, you don't have time, etc. Whatever your reason is. If you click on the book once, you see this little arrow in the corner of it. If I tap that arrow, I see you see we have a menu and you ha there's a couple options here. What we want to do is click this return borrowed item and it's going to ask us if we're sure. All we have to do is hit return and it goes back. You'll see it clears out of my items list here and it'll clear out of your account within a matter of minutes. So if you want to go ahead and get a new book um, or take out some different ones, you can go ahead and do that now. If I click on my Nook, you'll see that the title, the cover is still there. That um, you can leave if you want. The way you'll see it, but you won't be able to actually read the book. Um, some people like to keep that on there, you know, if they read a lot of books, just to keep track of what they've read, what they haven't. Um, if you don't like clutter, you can go ahead and actually get rid of the cover. So what you would do is just click on it once, grab your arrow, and then choose delete. Sorry about that. And delete item here. Again, it kind of asks us if we're sure. We can just hit delete. And then it gets rid of it. And we're all set. We still have our other ones here. I could delete all of these if I really wanted to. I'm not going to go ahead and do that now, though.
So that concludes our tutorial here. If you have any questions, um, feel free to stop by our key desk on the third floor reference um, floor. Also, you can visit our website or call the library at 433-5935, and we'd be happy to walk you through it. Um, if you have other readers, you know, be sure to check out some of our other tutorials. Um, like, like I said before, give us a call if you have any other questions. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks. Have a good one.